And Magnus Carlsen is ready for the final in the Aim Chess US Rapid. Congratulations, Magnus. Thank you. <laughs> we, uh, we definitely saw a reaction from you after winning this fourth and final game. What was, what was that about? Uh, the last game was so unbelievably shaky. Like, mm. I just had one really, really bad moment when I played knight a3 early on, um, where I just missed that he could go knight c7. Like, if I go knight a5 instead, I just have a very, very good position. Um, but yeah, after that, yeah, I missed so many things. But I think the biggest thing is when um, when I captured his rook with my, my queen, I thought he couldn't... I didn't see his point because I thought uh, that his queen would run run out of squares um, after after he would take my queen, but it's, it's not true at all. He had a square on d4. That's what I was missing, I thought. I'm forcing his queen away, and I'm just winning. Um, but yeah, See? he has queen d4, so um, I'm probably, you know, I don't know if lost, but certainly, certainly struggling a whole lot. So yeah, I was that was really bad. Uh, and afterwards as well, I missed a number of things. He made it very difficult for me. Uh, but yeah, fortunately, I prevailed. Mm. And of course, uh, winning the first game today as well. What are you most happy about then today? Yeah, the first game was really the only one that I played played well, uh, and I'm happy about the fact that it was was enough. Um, like the f it's f the first game is one of those like rare games where you just you have a plan and everything kind of works because um, yeah, everything just fell very. Quite beautifully for for me with um, all of um, all of my moves coming coming naturally and just you know um, a, his position falling apart quite quickly. Um, but yeah, the other three games were anything but um, but easy. Mm, so so heading into the final here, then how do you rate your form now and how are you playing your chess games? I I think I played very well in the in the quarters um, and. Yesterday I played okay, uh, but uh, today was not the level I need to be at uh, to win to win a final, uh, regardless of whom, whom I play. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's my my main worry. Um, but you know, um, it's it's very nice to be in a final. Yeah. So I don't. As I said before, I don't take it for for granted, um, and um, you know, um, I just have to to step it up um, tomorrow and the day after, and then I I will have great chances. Mm. Any hopes for who you will face then, Ali Rezaburuzia or Vladislav Artemyev? I think it's both. Both of them are really uh, exciting, um, uh, seeing as they're both. People whom I would never have faced in a, in a final before. So, I guess uh, playing Alvarezza is like slightly the more exciting option in some ways. But um, yeah, Artemyev is by no means a uh, worse rapid player. Mm. And I have to say, I think many fans will be hoping for a final between yourself and Ali Reza Ferruzzi. And if if that happens, what uh, seems to be a good tactics against him? Because we know, for example, he's a very fast player. Um, yeah, he's not easy to um, to play against, since he's um, unbelievably resourceful and good tactically. So I think you just have to have to be alert. That's that. That's the main thing. And um, I feel like the the last couple of times that I've uh, I've played him, I've uh, you know kind of outplayed him uh, mm. at at points, or definitely outplayed him at points, but then ended up. Um, ended up losing anyway. So, it's, if it's him, it's certainly an interesting challenge and very different with Artemyev, who's um, somebody who has um, just a sublime positional uh, feeling. Mm, all right. Magnus, we are looking so much forward to the final, whoever you will face, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.